Hey everyone, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can build and publish your very own Go package. If you ever get into building multiple apps or services in a given language, you're very often gonna come across a situation where you have to share code between those different projects. Now, often this can result in you copying and pasting code between from one project to the next, which can lead to some pretty poor results because if it changes in one spot, you gotta go change it in the other spot. In my case, it was logic around database access and how to manage in multiple Lambda functions for my uh, project Guardian Forge for Destiny users. Well, that's where creating packages that can be shared across those projects becomes a huge time saver. To follow along with this video, you're gonna need a, your own GitHub account and go install it on your computer. I'll be using Visual Studio Code on a Windows box, but you can replicate this on Mac just as well. Uh, let's go ahead and hop into it and get started. Okay, so on screen right here, all I have is an empty VS code window. There's nothing going on here. We're gonna actually start completely from scratch. So I'm gonna hold down the control and back to key to open up my integrated terminal. And let's go ahead and expand this out so we have a little more room to work with. I'm going to type, uh, I'm gonna initialize a new Go module with Go mod init. And this is very important. Uh, in order to create a, pa a package that's shareable on GitHub, you have to start with the GitHub URL. Um, so we're gonna type in github.com forward slash whatever your GitHub username. In my case, it's bmorrisondev. So we're gonna go ahead and type that in and then forward slash whatever the name of your package is gonna be. So um, I'm gonna use my logger two my hyphen logger two, I used my logger one when I was drafting the article. <laughs> so we got to create a different one. Let's go ahead and hit enter. And here we go, our go.mod file has been created. Now, if we inspect this go.mod file, you can see I'm using go 1.17. And then I also have the module name set to exactly what we just set it for. So let's create a new go file. Uh, we'll main.go because this is where the majority of our code is going to be stored. So next I'm gonna paste in some sample code here. Uh, you can see the package name is my logger, which is totally fine. It doesn't have to match the name of the package up at the top. Um, but all we're really doing here is we have three functions, log info, log warning, and log error. And all it's gonna do is they, they each accept a message and it's going to log out to the terminal uh, info hyphen whatever our messages and warn hyphen whatever messages and go on so on and so forth. Uh, very common, very simple logic, but you kind of get where we're, we're exporting three functions because they all have the uppercase L in the front. So let's go ahead and save this. And then we have to initialize a repository. Before we can do that, let's go ahead and head over to GitHub. And I'm going to go ahead and create a new repository. And we're going to name it just the way we named our Go module. So my hyphen logger too. Can see it's available it's a public so we don't really we care if this is uh, open to, to everyone uh, so we'll go ahead and create repository okay so we have our repository created i'm going to go ahead and copy the url for our repository Let's head back into vs code all right so i'm going to open the terminal up again and i'm going to type in git init to initialize our repository then we're going to type git remote add origin and let's go ahead and paste in the uh, url that was just given to us from github um, we're going to git add dot add all of the files into our commit we're working with git commit ms initial commit and finally git push oh, got a lowercase git push set upstream and then set the name of the branch let's go ahead and push this and sync this up to github okay looks like we're all synced up now here's where the trick comes in um, the way that Go tracks versions of specific repositories is actually done by tags within Git. So you need to know how to create tags. Um, so in order to do this, I'm going to clear the screen out so we get a little more room to work with. And I will type in git tag, and then we'll put the name of our tag. In this case, it's v1.0.0 because that's the version we're going to be working with. And then we have to do git push double hyphen tags to push our tags up into GitHub. Uh, if you did this successfully, you should see a new tag's been created, just like it shows on this line. Now, if we head back into GitHub, refresh this page, we have our two files we created, go.mod and main.go. And then if we click on tags, you can also see here is that tag that we've created and pushed up. You want to make sure both of these are done before you kind of proceed. Uh, now we're going to get into the process of actually utilizing our function. So I'm going to open up a different folder. Uh, I have another folder called logger tester because that's the name of the package we're going to create here. So now that this is open, uh, yes, I trust the authors. Let's go ahead and open up another terminal. Now we're uh, sourced in this folder. Let's type in go mod init. And we're going to initialize this as logger hyphen tester. We don't need to put GitHub in the, uh, the name of the package here, the module, because uh, we're not really gonna sync this up. This is really just for testing. Uh, so we've initialized that new package. Uh, now here's where you can install your specific package you just created. So go get 
hyphen u to update it. And we're going to type in github.com slash whatever your username is, my case, be more in depth slash my hyphen logger too. And if all is successful, we should see a message put out that we found the package, we found the version, and we're going to go ahead and add that to our project. Okay, we see my logger two uh, v100. So now if I go to go.mod, we can also see close out our terminal. Uh, we on line five, we are requiring that project that we just created. Now, if I create a new file here, main.go, and we're going to uh, just create a generic go function that we can execute. So package main bunk, uh, if you NC <laughs> main, so now we need to import our package. So I'll go ahead and uh, add some line breaks here. We're going to type in import and we'll say github.com slash B Morrison dev uh, slash my hyphen logger two. save this. And now we should be able to utilize the functions that are within that package. So now we can do uh, my logger dot you see, we named it my logger. So my logger dot log info. And we'll say this, uh, this is a an info message. And likewise, we'll do my logger dot log. Uh, let's do warning. And we'll say then warning. And last one, do my logger for the error message. And uh, log error. It's broke. Why not? Right? Have some fun with it. So let's go ahead and enter this. I'm going to open my terminal back up. Uh, again, let's uh, CLS clear out some, gives me some space here, and I will type in go run main.go. And you can see we are now logging out messages using the functions from our our, pre our other package uh, for the info, the warn, and the error. Uh, so there you go. If you want a written version of this uh, tutorial, go ahead and check the links in the description below. I usually add them down there. Uh, if you like this kind of content, do me a favor, give the video a like, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel. If you want to get in touch with me, the best place to do so is on Twitter. My DMs are open at BrianMMDev. And then if you want to have more in-depth conversations with me, uh, go to learnbuildteach.com and join our Discord server. Where we talk about this kind of stuff every single day. Thanks so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.